All right, guys, so I just got done shopping here at Meyer, and I just want to give you guys a couple of tips and uh, let you know a couple of things, uh, what I carry and why. Uh, when I go to the store, I normally go to the store at night. That's when I like to go, a little bit less people. Uh, first of all, what I'll tell you is I have my sidearm on me. That's a Glock 43X. Of course, that's always going to be there. Uh, secondly, and I'll explain this a little bit, there's a couple of different reasons for this. Um, I always have... Um, a light at night if I try to. There's there's times I get caught without it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to act like I'm perfect. Nobody is. But I always like to have a light because, um, number one, not only does it help you to see things, but I park away from buildings when I go anywhere. And these guys will turn up car stereos because I guess they think it's cool or whatever as loud as they can when they're around where people's at. They want to they stand out in the crowd. They want to... Uh, they want to be seen. They want attention. So they're gonna they're gonna bang that stereo system as loud as they can, especially when they paid a lot of money for it, and it's a really high end system. So if you're going up by a car that's backing out in between cars, and they don't see you signaling with this light, especially on their side view mirror or something like that, uh, will get them to look in a hurry and be able to see you much more than if you think you're going to yell over their stereo system, you know, if that's if that's what they got going. So you can use this as a signaling device. Uh, third, what normally I'll take is, um, this is, it gets Velcroed in my truck up near the door on the dash. I got a video about that. Normally I'll throw a can of pepper spray on me as well somewhere, uh, you know, just in case, you know, but you got to watch because you don't want to go, if you go spray this in a building, um, I'm not going to get into a whole discussion in this video, but if you go spraying this in an enclosed area, it could be a while, and they're going to have to clear people out of that area. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be frowned upon. But there's another point that I wanted to mention to you guys about something, and what that point is, is um, do not. I didn't see this tonight, but I see it a lot. This is just my opinion, so I'm not, I don't want to act like I'm telling everybody what to do. But in my opinion, um, don't mess with anybody that is fine and there's nothing wrong with them and there's no handicap sign and they park in a handicap spot or they park in the fire lanes. We got that a lot in the town. I live people parking in fire lanes right up at the door. When they're young people, they're young. There's not elderly, they don't have problems walking. Um, and then people pulling in handicap spots that have no business being there, whatever, people in their 20s, whatever, early 30s. Uh, my opinion on this, and I tell people this all the time, is do not confront those people. And I'm gonna tell you why. Those same people that have no disregard for fire lanes and for handicapped people are going to go from zero to 100 on you. And if they have a pipe, a bat, or a weapon, they may just come charging out of their vehicle. They're gonna go zero to 100. I'm telling you right now, the same people that have no regard for others, if you confront them, they're going to come out at you like, like they're supposed to be getting you. That's what they're going to do. I'm just trying to explain that to you. If you have a handicapped person in your car or you're older and it really bothers you, I understand, but you would go in, notify the store, or you could call local law enforcement. But my big piece of advice is do not confront them directly. That is going to get you into a, a situation that's gonna escalate and ramp up so quickly. And are you prepared and are you handled to deal with that and do you know how to de-escalate it and get back out of that situation? If you do not, then don't confront anybody in fire lanes or handicapped parking spots. You're only opening yourself up for um, all kinds of a whole can of worms if you want to uh, engage in that. Well, I see it all the time and I hate it. I'm just trying to put my opinions out there. That's just what this channel's for, me trying to um, help others and, and show others things. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get that across. It may help somebody one day because you, know, you want to keep everything as smooth on the level and de-escalation as much as you can. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything differently that you carry uh, when you're out at night. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think overall in general. Until next time, guys, this is DOF.